What's happening, Amers? Dan Lawless back with another edition of the West Ham Week, where I take three of the top stories from West Ham for throughout the week and break it down into two minute sections. So, sorry there wasn't an episode last week for those who care, but you know, it's quite busy. I, I had the uh, preview with uh, Louis from 100% Chelsea up and all sorts of stuff going on, but I'm back. Um, so, back into the show, back into the stories. Let's start the timer now. So, <clears throat> David Moyes. Uh, wants Jack Wilshere, who's interested in signing Jack Wilshere, um, before on his pre-match press conference before the Arsenal game, he's come out and he said, um, you know, Jack Wilshere is is definitely a player with, that would be interested in if he's available. So after that press conference, he went on to have a really good game against us. Jack Wilshere, probably one of the only players for Arsenal can, that can hold their head up high. Um, very interesting situation at the moment with his contract. His contract is due to run out in the summer. He's yet to sign a new deal. I think he, he obviously wants playing time. He wants to get into the England squad. He wants to be in the World Cup. Um, and he obviously wants to play week in, week out, which he hasn't been at Arsenal. Now, those fortunes may turn for him. Um, you know, Aaron Ramsey is injured. He's due to be out for a you know quite a few games I think something like six games or something so there is an opportunity for him to get playing time but once Ramsey comes back because Ramsey you know was quite an important player for Arsenal I mean he's he scored a few goals he was you know really turned his form around um will he go back to the bench you know Wilshere where will he stand and that's the big thing then you've got to think about in the summer if they, they're going to sign another midfielder he's going to want assurances on his future which Arsene Wenger is going to have talks with Wilshere. He said he's going to have talks with Wilshere at the end of December. So let's see what happens. That's a player who I think um, would, you know, would really benefit from. He'd be great for West Ham. He seems like his injury troubles have gone behind him now. Um, and he's really maturing as a player and a person. So, you know, January's coming. It's going to be very interesting. Like I said, you know, not long left on his deal. Maybe he'll stay until the end of the season with Arsenal and then come in the, in the summer. But... They might want to, you know, get some money for him. Let's see. I think let's test the waters and make a bid. So, looking at a player who could be leaving West Ham. I mean, this has been talked about since the summer. Diafra Sacco, you know, people saying, you know, obviously he wanted to leave. He'd done that whole thing with the medical, booking his own medical and uh, at uh, Rene and... I don't know, like it's one of the things. A lot of a lot of play, a lot of fans have sort of wrote him off and not don't want anything to do with him. Um, but you know, when he's played, he's been he's been good. He has been good for us, you know. And I think fans, he started to fans, a lot of fans started to come around um, and have wanted him to start some games. Um, you know, he has got that pace. He you know he has got that energy. You know, he just constantly runs and runs and runs. And I think that's something that we need. So I would love to see us keep hold of him, at least until the summer. And very interestingly, Cardiff are the club, the latest club to be linked with him. Um, apparently they, they're really interested in signing Sacco. And if he went to Cardiff, I tell you, they would, I'm pretty sure they'd get promoted. I can see him scoring you know, close to 30 goals in the championship. Uh, to me, he's a Premier League quality player. You know, I'm sure quite a few teams are going to be interested in him if it comes that we're selling him. Um, and I know he had a lot of issues with Bilic and the last thing was that uh, Sacco said, you know, the situation has changed, he still wants to leave. That was when Bilic was still the manager. Although he hasn't really got many opportunities under Moyes either. So, you know, the play, he wants to play football and you can't really blame that. He's gone about things the wrong way. He hasn't got his head quite where he should have it. But, you know, he is a good player. Um, you know, and I, I think it's someone that we should at least try and keep till the summer because we could need him. You know, we've got Carroll's issues going on um you know knees injury and obviously Hernandez just come back from injury and you know so we still pick up a few injuries he could be someone that could really be crucial to us at some stage um this season so at least till summer let's just keep hold of him and lastly a story that's just come out and has quite a few fans up in arms um with outrage is West Ham looking to cash in on Dominguez Quina um that's the words the, the Daily Mail used now whether you can take anything the Daily Mail says seriously, you know, is another conversation entirely. But it's a story that's out there, um, so I want to give my reactions to that. Um, surely, surely not. I mean, it's rumoured that Liverpool and Arsenal are the teams interested with Liverpool, you know, 
the most interested. Now, you've got teams like that interested in this player. I mean, he's been quoted as, you know, one of the ex most exciting young players, um, you know, in the in the Premier League, or in the Premier League, for, that plays for a Premier League club. So, I just don't see, you know, there was talk about him not getting an opportunity to play under Moyes this season. I mean, he's 18 years old, you know. If we if he can't get an opportunity to play and you want him to get some experience, put him in the, loan him to the ch a championship team that could really use him or something. Don't just sell him because you're looking to make some money. And this is this all comes back down to money. Like I said, I'm not gonna completely, um, you know, I'm gonna wait and see what happens. So I'm not gonna completely throw everyone under the bus involved. But if it is true, then it's gonna confirm everything the fans, you know, a lot of the fans have been saying about the board. And, and things like that because you know if you've got some exciting young players you need to to nurture them and bring them through you know that's what West Ham has always been about you know and obviously we haven't done that in quite a while but we want to see a return to that the academy of football so you know I it's I don't think we should even entertain the idea of selling him you know how much are we going to get for for him anyway you know is it going to be that big a big you know worth of money what five million even if it's 10 million, it's not worth it. We've got to keep hold of these exciting young players. Let me know what you guys think anyway. Thank you so much for watching, guys, anyway. I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry, again, for those who care that I wasn't here last week on this show, but I'm back. And obviously next week, the last Friday before Christmas, it's going to be a busy week next week. But I'm still going to try and uh, get the show out then after that. Um, I believe it's the last one of the year. So, you know, like I said, I, I really have enjoyed doing this show. You know, and um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Something a bit different. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on the social medias and all that stuff. And Stoke coming. We need some we need three points in, in that game. So, safe travels to everyone going down there. We're going to have uh, Nicky and Scott down there. They'll be doing the fan cams after the game. So, please go and see them um, and have your say. We want to see some different faces up there. You know, we always get the same people coming over to us. We want to get some fresh faces. So, please go and see Nicky and Scott if you fancy it. Um, and then post-match point, they're going to film a post-match reaction outside the ground and we're going to try and sort out a post-match point for Sunday. Okay, so enjoy your weekend, people. Have a good one. One thing left to say, come on, you Irons.